Good morning Philippines, this is Mike and we are back to our latest uh, update on the weather here in the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific and we are now initiating the uh, special coverage and the initial update on Tropical Depression Agaton which has uh, been uh, upgraded by Pagasa um, during the past uh, 24 hours and uh, it's now a tropical depression and it's likely to become a tropical storm as it lingers very close to the eastern coastline of uh, Samar, uh, eastern Samar, okay, especially near the vicinity of Giwan. And uh, this is for today, Sunday, April 10th, 2022. And uh, as we celebrate our 25th anniversary this coming November, we, wa we would like to thank our partners, about this power, we believe in the power of balance. You can visit their website at www.aboitispower.com and uh, Naga College Foundation, home of the champions, be one of us. You can also visit them at www.ncf.edu.ph. It's one of the uh, leading uh, institution here in the Bicol region. And let's proceed with our update. Here's the latest uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin showing the development of not just one which we are focusing on uh, the uh, smaller system we have a big cyclone just to the east of Yap accelerating towards the north northwest northwest direction and it's now packing winds of 85 kph quite a decent tropical storm but is not expected to uh, pose a threat to the Philippine Islands, it will remain over the open waters, becoming more larger, and uh, this is the reason why uh, the system here near the coastline of summer is somewhat stationary because there's no steering flow. Once the system passes by, it will have some uh, interaction or direct cyclone interaction known as the Fujiwara effect and it will eventually pull the system into the, its circulation since uh, this uh, other storm known as uh, tropical storm Malacas also a Filipino name based on the international naming convention it is likely that the wind or the large circulation of this system will eventually steer the uh, weaker cyclone known as Agaton more to the east come Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So uh, the rainfall will continue to persist over eastern Visayas, northeastern Mindanao, including Caraga, and portions of Bicol region, particularly southern Bicol, Sosogon, Catanduanes, Albay, and uh, um, areas of uh, Masbate, as well as Tikau, uh, Boreas Island and also some portions of central Visayas. So watch out for flash floods, okay, and also flooding in low lying areas, overflowing of river banks and landslides when we have very intense rainfall associated with these uh, rain bands of tropical depression Agaton, which could become a tropical storm as well as it lingers along the coastline of eastern summer. And it is, uh, we are not going to rule out that this system will not make landfall because it's so close the latest computer models right now might uh, make landfall over the eastern summer area before returning back to sea as it moves towards tropical storm Malacas okay and if we take a look at the zoom in satellite animation so here's the uh, uh, we call this night vision image so here comes the very large system, and here's uh, Agaton, quasi stationary. Because you can see the building uh, cloudiness within the vicinity of summer and later provinces, and also the southern portions of the Bicol region. Uh, please take all necessary precaution because the risk of flooding here and landslides is so high because of the uh, quasi stationary nature of Agaton, which will lead to more flooding in this area so please take all necessary precautions from southern Bicol, Visayas down to northeastern and northern Mindanao so uh, let's hope and pray that this will dissipate rapidly and be absorbed into the circulation of Malacas as it moves more towards the uh, uh, north 
here um, towards the north northwest okay and if we uh, take a look now at the latest uh, let me see tracking this is our track initial track from typhoon 2000 and for the next uh, 24 hours the storm will remain here near the coast of uh, uh, summer but the latest right now it's moving more here to the eastern coast and it will move here and then it will accelerate towards the east northeast into the circulation of uh, tropical storm malakas and it will be assimilated within the uh, southern uh, semicircle of this uh, large system approaching from the east and if we take a look at the latest pagasa tropical cyclone wind signal the areas of eastern samar um, dinagat shargao as well as the Bocas Grande Islands, who is still under signal number one, wind signal number one. So the rainfall is not uh, uh, considered here on this uh, tropical cyclone wind signal, but the effects of the rainfall uh, reaches uh, southern Bicol, Masbate, and also Cebu, northern Mindanao. So these areas within that uh, red line will be experiencing uh, heavy rainfall brought about by this uh, tropical depression. So here's the uh, Typhoon global models as of this time. So right now the forecast models of Malacas shows a track that will spare the Philippines and uh, other portions of Asia Pacific, Asia Pacific I mean, and also the track of uh, uh, Agaton will remain quasi stationary here, but for the next few days, this will track towards the east into the outer circulation of uh, Malacas and it will be assimilated within its uh, large southern circulation. And uh, when we reach uh, uh, Monday, uh, Thursday, Good Friday, and Black Saturday to Easter Sunday, good weather will already persist across the philippine islands here's the uh, asian agency's trucks on malacas and they all agree it will just linger along the philippine area of responsibility if it enters it will be named okay by pagasa and here's the uh, oceanic heat content this is the energy that could uh, boost the uh, intensity of this uh, tropical cyclone malacas so right now it's moving over warmer oceanic heat content that could possibly bring this cyclone to typhoon classification within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours so uh, that will be the scenario for the next two days to monday and tuesday as it nears the philippine area responsibility now here's the uh, rain forecast for today sunday uh, as you can see through the afternoon and Monday, the rainfall will persist across eastern Visayas, extending uh, towards uh, Cebu and Masbate, Sorsogon, including uh, Bohol. And on Tuesday, the heavy rainfall will still persist across the whole of Samar provinces before it will eventually recede as the system accelerates towards Malacas and on Wednesday uh, noon or afternoon it will quickly disappear and it will be absorbed or assimilated into the circulation of tropical storm Malacas and by that time Wednesday all Wednesday it will become a typhoon and on Thursday Malacas will recurve faster towards the north northeast away from the Philippine Islands okay so that will be the forecast when it comes to the rain and the tracking of Malacas and uh, Agaton. So this will be the result of, of the quasi-stationary of uh, Agaton for the next three days. So heavy rainfall and uh, high risk of flooding, landslides is imminent across eastern Visayas, southern Bicol, uh, northeastern and northern Mindanao, as well as uh, Cebu. Bohol, portions of northern Negros and northern Panay. So please take all necessary precautions for the next three days until Tuesday. And uh, here's the graph set that we issued for today, Sunday. Here's Malacas. 
Here's Agaton and another LPA near Palawan, which is expected to dissipate within the next uh, uh, 24 hours or 48 hours. And then Agaton will start to move on Monday or Tuesday towards the east into the circulation of this much larger tropical storm Malakas, which could eventually become a typhoon by uh, late Sunday or Monday or even Tuesday as it moves towards the north. Okay, so that's the latest for today, Sunday, and we will try to uh, give you again the new update on Monday morning uh, on the latest on Tropical Storm Malakas and Tropical Depression uh, Agaton, which is uh, lingering along the eastern coastline of eastern summer. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Potter reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag with the wiser. And let's all pray that the system will dissipate as time goes by. And see you again uh, in the next uh, 24 hours. Have a blessed Palm Sunday. And thank you so much for watching our channel.